Hey there, my name is Ted Neven. Um, I am a student here at Flatiron School, currently in my Mod 1. This is my project for Mod 1, which is a CLI application called Armadillo Trading Post. I had the pleasure of working on this project with Scott Cole, who is also a fellow student here at Flatiron. Um, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run our run.rb file to go ahead and get this program started. Uh, this is a marketplace that we have created that is local to Texas that allows you to sell and buy things locally um, throughout Texas. So at the very start, we have a welcome message saying, Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Armadillo Trading Post. You can list and procure anything except dillos. We have a nice ASCII art image right here along of an armadillo along with our trading post ASCII art as well. Nice little borders down here just to kind of keep everything concise and kind of in place. <coughs> And it asks us down here, do you have an existing account? Um, I do not. So let's go ahead and create a new account. But beforehand, I can actually browse without logging in. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Uh, it shows us a few items. Okay. And as you notice, as we're going through, you can see that it starts at the top, kind of clears everything up for you to be able to see. And then it has everything listed one at a time. So you can keep up with what is being displayed without it just being all at once and you have to scroll up and figure out what things are. So as we scroll up, we can see all the different items that we have available in this marketplace, available marketplace items, uh, categorized by name, category, condition, price, description, item location, and the seller. So it's nice. Uh, I like the things that I see, so let's go ahead and create a new account. Uh, first and last name with the tech email. My email is tneeves at gmail.com. Uh, I'm located in Houston. Uh, my username is for tneeves. Password. You will never guess it. We're going to go ahead and repeat our password just to confirm this. Okay. Now we can log in with our account that we just set. Team needs password that unknown. Now it just goes back to it. Gives us a new message. It says, thank you for visiting the Armadillo Trading Post team needs. Great. So what we would like to do, we can list items, we can browse, purchase, view listed items, change item price, order history. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and list an item. I came here because I bought a dog collar. Um, my dog was too small for it, and I want to try and get my back. So, dog collar. Um, best category to describe it? Well, my dog lives at home, so let's do household for now. It is brand new. It's right out of the package. I paid twelve ninety nine for it, but let's try and get 10 for it. Uh, it is a black, medium size dog collar. That's the description for this. Best of luck. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, let's go back to browse and see if it's already populated. We got Koi, let's see. A few different things. Um, I don't see. Oh, there it is. I see my dog collar and I am the seller. So let's go down here and let's, you know what? I want to look at my listed items just because I can really remember all the different things that I put on there. Uh, I have my listed item that I have now put up. It has not sold yet. At least I don't think it has. Let's go to our order history and see what is sold. We'll look at sales. We'll look at purchases order history. I don't have anything to display because I haven't sold anything. What about my purchases? I haven't purchased anything either. Okay, well, let's change that. Let's purchase an item. Um, you know what? I kind of just want to see if this marketplace will let me buy my own thing. That would kind of be a lip, huh? But it doesn't. So that, that's a nice feature. Kind of let me know that, you know, I can't buy my own things because maybe I'm getting confused with all the different things that I buy and sell. Uh, let's go ahead and buy a bike, though. Um, I'm local. I'd like to pick it up in Houston. Uh, I live in downtown, so maybe a central location like Toyota Center. Um, today is the 1st of August, so let's go ahead and meet on tomorrow. Tomorrow the 2nd, that sounds good. I'm kind of busy today. Uh, let's meet at 12 o'clock. Great. Thank you for your purchase. So I'll contact you via email. If there's any issues with the meetup time, so I'll contact information. Scott Cole, scotty1 at gmail.com. Perfect. Great. Okay, well, let's see um, my order history now. Um, look at my purchases. Oh, there it is. You know, and the off chance that I forgot who Scott Cole was and his contact information, I can always refer back to this and it always has that for me. Um, you know, my dog collar is not selling fast enough though. So let's change that item price because $10 isn't cutting it. Maybe let's try $5. Okay. Um, the item price is now $5. Let's go back to browse and see if we can see our dog collar. And we do. I do see my dog collar. And actually, I see that new price now. It's listed at $5. 
And just to reconfirm, we can view my list of items. And sure enough, the price is there, $5. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and log out and do one last thing. As we log out, you'll also notice that the program actually doesn't end. It loops right back into it and allows you to go ahead and log in, create a new account, browse without logging in, or exit entirely if you'd like to. But let's log in. And let's log in under my other account. So we're logged under Teddy. Let's go ahead and purchase what I actually just posted as a dog collar. Let's do shipment this time. One, two, three, Fake Street. This is where I want to send it. Um, okay, it's going to go ahead and send it there. Ted Neven is going to be the contact. Let's go to order history. Let's go to purchases. Okay, you can see that I have purchased this dog collar under this account. Um, so let's do one last thing. We're gonna go ahead and log out. Log back in to Neves. And I wanna show you that now that my item has been bought, I no longer have any listed items. I have no listed items in the marketplace. But if I go to my order history, I can go to my sales, and sure enough, I have my sale for my dog collar, sold at $5, because I just, I had reduced it, and it seemed like Ted Neven really wanted it, so I'll be shipping that to him. Okay, guys, so that is the last thing I wanted to show you with my project. Um, it's been exciting. I appreciate taking the time to view this, and hope you all have a great day. This has been Armadillo Trading Post, and I appreciate your time.